What's up guys, it's General Levitris. Hope you're having a great day today. Coming back at you with another update of this New Zealand playthrough, and this is week two. So what's going on guys is so far, my teammates and I, we are starting our assault in the Philippines up here. In Indonesia, he has taken all of Thailand and is about to finish it up. He's going into Cambodia, which is an AI. And hopefully he's going to go into Vietnam, which is controlled by uh, Japan, who is our biggest enemy right now, as he controls all of Korea. He's getting into China, Taiwan, and Vietnam. So we want to push him back all the way to his homeland. We need to uh, just take his influence of the Pacific away. We're slowly gaining it by getting the Philippines here. I'll zoom in here and show you guys what's going on. So Australia, uh, the guy in the yellow, he has already taken the southern uh, end of the Philippines and I've come in here in this island which contains this city which is a supply city which I desperately need because if you guys get New Zealand you're going to be struggling with supplies and it takes a while. Right now I'm at 144 per hour but I need to get that even more because I'm just mobilizing guys over and over and I'm really running out of supplies very quickly. And I'm bombarding the capital of the Philippines right here, Manila, with my destroyer. He's doing a pretty good job. His health has only lost about two hit points. Now, the Philippines, he does have a towed artillery right here, but he's already at half health. Once I take that out, all these guys are sitting ducks and they're going to die pretty soon. So I just got to take out that artillery with my destroyer, and then I can just sit here all day and destroy him. I'm pretty sure this guy went AI because he's not even flying his fighter against my fighter. Uh, and if he does, I have plenty uh, to come. Uh, this line right here is actually coming from Guam. I, I came up here and took Guam, uh, the territory here. I have a destroyer sitting here and a naval patrol right here, only because if Japan decides to come down, the naval route comes right around Guam. So I want to have some early force to warn myself if he's coming down here. We can also uh, get a little damage with this naval patrol squadron hitting his sub and any uh, vessels that he's got. Uh, but from Guam, I have some Marines coming out and they are going to come into this flank. And I'm going to have them work their way up into the capital and they're going to be the guys who are going to cap this for me. They still got quite a bit of time to even get there. It looks like about nine hours just to get here. And then that's not including time to get here. So I think by the time they get to the city, my destroyers are gonna pretty well destroy everything here. I do have some elite attack fighters research and I've produced a few. Now I did use them against some of these infantry, but I realized that his infantry were level, level four and level four infantry for motorized, they have uh, anti-air abilities to shoot down, not shoot down, but damage your any aircraft. So I already got some damage on them. I'm trying to conserve these guys because again, I don't have a lot of resources. So I'm going to fly him back uh, to your de Davio, Davio city and just have him sit there for a little bit as a backup if I need them for anything. So that's all going on. I already showed you guys basically what's going on bird's eye view for Indonesia, my friend here. But he is about to take one of the last cities of Thailand, the capital, and then he's got some guys moving in to take uh, the capital of Cambodia. And then we'll have a full border of Vietnam. And I'm thinking if I attack Vietnam, which is controlled by Japan, I'm gonna go straight for here because it's got an airport and I know he's got some jets. So I'd like to take this airport so I can ground them. And going back to my homeland, I've made some upgrades, but it's very slow as I have New Zealand and you only have five cities. But Wellington, my capital, I have a level five arms industry, which is good. That's pretty much my highest thing here. My other cities, uh, such as Christchurch, I have a level three air base. And this is where I'm really producing all of my elite attack aircraft and some of my air superiority fighters. Down here, I've got a level two, a naval base and level two army base. I'm kind of using this for infantry mobilization. Up here, this city, this is my main naval base. It's a level three, and you can see I got a destroyer. This thing just got produced. Uh, but I got three destroyers right now, which is a pretty decent navy, and I got a corvette down here just sitting tight for any defense reasons. And this city, I'm just using this for more uh, infantry as well. So um, I got airstrips on most of my islands, so I'm able to fly them, help them about, and I'm able to infiltrate up here pretty quick. And then Australia and uh, Indonesia, they've got airstrips all spread out. So we're starting to move guys in. I'm not kind of isolated as I used to be. So if you are in New Zealand, I really highly recommend joining up with Australia if you can at least. 
you, know, you get Indonesia on your team and the Philippines uh, will join you, which he did in our case, that would be very ideal. And you guys can really basically control the South Pacific and just deal with these countries here and Japan. So uh, that's what I got going on. So our overall strategy, hopefully by the end of the week, when I come back to week three, is that we'll have this Philippines taken and maybe we'll be already fighting Japan here. He was flying some guys into Bangkok, which makes me think that Indonesia may have right away with him and I hope he's not going to betray me. If he does, that's going to be very bad because he's actually experienced, whereas Australia, he's not experienced at all. Um, he's just kind of with me and he's doing a good job. I think he's doing a great job as a new player. But if Indonesia were to turn on me, I don't know if I would survive because he's a, he's got a decent navy already. Um, but hopefully he stays with us and stays true and faithful to the coalition and he will fight Japan. So we'll see. But he, Japan was flying infantry into Bangkok and I have three air superiority fighters that are already patrolling. And I decided to shoot down those infantry and then he did it a second time. And after the second time, Japan uh, asked for peace. I'm still at war with him. I haven't declared peace back. but. I'm not thinking about invading Japan's mainland anytime soon because I think he's going to be pretty well entrenched. Uh, he's got a pretty good cities. He's got a level 3 army base. His damage though, so I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if he's fighting someone. Yeah, he's getting all damaged all over the place, so it makes me think. Let's check out and see if he's getting hurt by anyone in particular. Well, he's fighting China and Vietnam, but Vietnam's already... So it's probably China that's doing that to him. I don't think uh, this country, this AI country, is doing anything. So it has to be China that's uh, fighting him. And that's why they're damaged. That's what I think it is right now. Very interesting, though, because China went AI. I didn't really expect any of these things to be damaged. That's what's happening. So overall, guys, if you are New Zealand, team up with Australia and any allies as soon as you can. And I think that'll be your best bet to survive. You have to be very patient with New Zealand. You can't push the bill too fast with your resources. Build a navy, get an air force. Kind of be defensive and conservative. Don't overstretch yourself too much so you can survive in this game. Alright, thanks guys. Subscribe and like for more videos. I'll catch you guys next time.